Hello, I'm Tony Higginson. I'm halfway up Great Melfell in the Northern Lakes, and today I'm going to bring you photographing in the snow. Pardieu. My first composition is fairly simple. It's a tree in the snow, but if you can see around me, there's a lot of old sort of uh, the, the old ferns, and they're just poking through the snow. The snow's about a foot deep. Uh, and it creates quite an interesting foreground. So what I'm doing is I'm shooting this tree to my right. I'll show you in a second. And the bracken as a lead in. And there's just one tiny little piece in front of me that I'm just using as a little bit of foreground interest. So here's the tree. Looking resplendent there. And if I come down, here's a little bit of uh, fern just poking through the snow. And I'm shooting it in portrait orientation, going up to the tree. And it makes quite an interesting little shot. Something a bit different rather than just a tree. Uh, so I thought I'd start with that, make me way up the fell and see what else I can find. I walked a little bit further up the hill, not far to be fair, but it's pretty steep as I say, and it's uh, it's a bit of a trudge, but it's like the uh, tortoise and the hare. You've just got to uh, uh, let me move that out of the way. Out of the way. My sister complains, she says, "Get that wood out of your face." So uh, I've made my way up the hill. I'm like the tortoise and the hare. That's what I was saying. I forget sometimes. Just nice and slow, and you get there in the end. You beat the hare. And what I've come across some lovely little horses they're just in the snow on the side of the hill they're kind of under a tree and I think they're going to make a really nice little composition if you've ever been to Iceland you'll have photographed horses the island's full of them and they make great subjects especially in these kind of conditions so I'm going to try and go up the hill so I can shoot down and get the faces you know I'll probably shoot on the 70 to 200 and just see what I can get I think they make a really interesting subject and look uh Look how great they look, those in the snow there. Turning the back to the wind and the snow. Just chilling out. Fantastic. So I'm hopeful that I'll get something quite interesting there. I'll just have to be quite, obviously, slow and quiet and just try and move up so I don't kind of spook them. Uh, but I don't know. I'll just have to see what happens. Hopefully they just stand there and I'll get some nice shots of uh, the old horses. I'll see what I can get. As I thought they would be, the horses have been quite obliging, they're not shy at all, they just stood there, they all looked at me, so I think I've got one with all of them looking at me, which is what I wanted, just sat under this tree, and the beauty of these conditions is all the background's nice and diffused, a little bit of snow is just kind of removing any detail, uh, and I'm going to be able to make that pop in post-processing. Settings wise, I put my ISO up a bit, I'm not bothered about that, ISO 400, it meant I could shoot handheld at what did I have it on? Um, F7.1 and it was giving me about 250th of a second so that was great and I'll show you the shot it's lovely look how beautiful they look look at those there they're just watching me thinking what's this idiot doing? <laughs> he should go home and put kettle on but I don't want the kettle on at home I want to be out here where the action is so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my long lens on. I'm going to go a bit closer and take some portraits of them and hopefully get something interesting. They're actually coming towards me, so this could be quite good. And uh, they're a little bit intimidating, horses to me. You know, I've, I've ridden a horse once up in Scotland. That was a few years ago. And, uh, you know, they are a bit intimidating to me. I, I won't lie, but I'll go down a little bit closer, put the zoom lens on and see if I can pick a few details out.
I found a couple of nice trees up here. I've made my way up to the top and uh, one works, one doesn't. And you don't know till you get to the tree and just try it out really, whether it's gonna work. I'll show you the one that doesn't work first of all. It's a lovely shape. It's this one here. See that? I had to go for that. And I tried sort of getting in position and shooting it. And to be honest, the background got in the way. I had to get down very low to kind of lift the, the curve above sort of this uh, lump of snow that it's on. And it just doesn't work. You know, it's like that sometimes. It might work at another time of the year or in different lighting conditions, but today it's, uh, it's not doing anything for me. So I came a bit further up and I found the, I think this is the, Scott's pine that I saw from the bottom down there when I was uh, photographing the horses and it's a great shape look at that that's fantastic how it's leaning over like that just from being battered by the wind up here and it looks great in the snow white sky behind it's just easy I just shot it on my 70 to 200 handheld f7.1 ISO 200, 200th of a second and uh, I just sort of knelt down to get low because there's a couple of bushes behind that I didn't want in it so I came down a bit low and that's it, it's great um, if you watched my previous snowy video you'll have seen me struggling in sleet it was soaking wet it was really was a it was driving in everything was getting soaked I was getting soaked, my gear was getting wet today's completely different it's that dry snow so snow is coming in at, you know it's sort of blowing in and out but it's dry if it hits the front of the lens it just bounces off hits me I'm dry you know so it's great but bits of it are uh, or have stuck to some of these trees so I'm gonna head up here first and see if I can get any more lone trees then I'm gonna wander into the kind of woods and see if I can shoot any kind of woodland winter scenes so yeah i'm looking forward to this next half hour should be good <laughs> these are what i call conditions Woo! love it full white out blizzard there's different size flakes coming in one minute they're coming in quite big next minute they're quite fine kind of almost dust and it's just wonderful being here in these conditions i love it it reminds me of uh, when i go away uh skiing and snowboarding you know but i never usually have my camera and all that kind of stuff and the, the shots available are just fantastic. I don't know if I'm getting the best out of it, to be honest. I've never really taken photos in these conditions and I'm trying some different stuff. I've, I've tried a bit of ICM, unusual, but you know, why not? Why not try something a bit different? That's intentional camera movement where I move the camera during the exposure. But I'm gonna do a full video on ICM at some point in the future. I'm just picking off sections of trees and zooming in on different sections like that and just sort of, it's, it's not easy really, <laughs> although it looks really, really beautiful. I mean, it is just gorgeous. Fantastic place to be. And what an experience. It was quite a trudge getting up there, I must admit though. The snow's formed a crust on top, so you kind of semi-stand on it, and then you fall through, and it's just boom, boom, step after step after step, about a foot and a half deep. It's been hard work, but it's so worth it when you get somewhere like this. And I'm just going to have a bit of a wander now and see if I can pick any shots off. The snow is getting quite wet, so it's getting harder, but woo, I should have a couple of nice ones from up here. And it's been a really nice uh, 
a nice morning out actually. Glad I came. I wasn't sure whether to bother this morning because I looked at the forecast yesterday and I thought, mm, it's, I'm not sure about it, but woo, jackpot. <laughs> Here are the shots anyway. I've come down the fell and uh, found a nice little composition. I was ready to go home. I'm pretty tired, to be honest, walking in all this snow. I just can't turn a good shot down. And I love the way these trees look, just with that dusting of snow that's sticking to the face of them. And I position myself here and I've got them in a, a lovely shape. It's like a, a V going backwards. And that's me done for today. It's got to be one of my favourite ever days photographing, I would say. Conditions have been stunning. It's a new location to me and I've loved it. Uh, I was going to come to this area before the previous video, but I couldn't get down the road. Well, I was too chicken because it was all snowy and icy and I didn't go up it. It's going to be a bit sketchy getting back now, but I've got no choice now, I suppose. Um, and I was pointed to this location by my friend Jason. So big shout out to Jason. So that's me signing off. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit subscribe so you can see all my future videos. I've got lots more plans and ideas. And uh, what a great day. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon.